In this video, we explore a high-stakes scenario playing out on the global stage, Argentina's delicate maneuvering between two superpowers, the United States and China. This strategic balancing act has profound implications not just for Argentina, but for the entire Latin American region. What does it mean when a key player like Argentina simultaneously strengthens ties with both of these global giants? Is Argentina's balancing act a masterstroke of diplomacy or a risky gamble with its future? Imagine a tightrope walker, poised between two towering giants, each pulling in different directions. Will Argentina's strategy allow it to maintain equilibrium and reap benefits from both sides, or will the pressures of competing influences lead to a catastrophic fall? In recent years, Argentina has positioned itself in a unique and precarious situation, navigating its relationships with the United States and China with the finesse of a tightrope walker balancing high above a roaring crowd. On one side, we see President Javier Milei's administration leaning towards the United States, aligning more closely with democratic values and market-driven economic policies. This pivot is exemplified by Argentina's bid to join NATO as a global partner and its purchase of advanced military equipment from Western allies like Denmark. On the other side, despite Miley's initial harsh rhetoric against China, economic realities have necessitated continued engagement with Beijing. Argentina's decision to renew a critical $5 billion currency swap with China is a testament to the pragmatic need for financial stability amidst severe inflation and debt crises. This dual approach poses significant questions and potential consequences. Can Argentina sustain this balancing act without alienating one of these powerful allies? What are the broader implications for Latin America, where countries may be watching closely and contemplating similar strategies? Economically, Argentina stands to gain from this dual approach. China remains a vital partner, consuming large quantities of Argentine agricultural exports like soybeans and beef, which are crucial for Argentina's economic health. Meanwhile, aligning with the United States opens doors to advanced technology, military cooperation, and political support, which are equally essential for Argentina's strategic interests. However, the geopolitical risks are considerable. Aligning too closely with one superpower risks antagonizing the other, which could result in economic sanctions or a withdrawal of crucial support. For example, Miley's anti-China rhetoric might please certain factions domestically and within the US, but it jeopardizes ongoing and future Chinese investments in Argentina's infrastructure and energy sectors. This situation also serves as a precedent for other Latin American nations. Countries like Brazil, Chile, and Peru may look to Argentina's strategy as a model for navigating their own relationships with the US and China. The question then becomes, will they adopt a similar balancing act, seeking to maximize benefits from both sides, or will they choose to align more decisively with one power? In conclusion, Argentina's current foreign policy approach is a high-wire act demanding not only skill and agility but also a keen awareness of the shifting geopolitical landscape. The outcome of Argentina's strategy will not only shape its own future but also influence the broader dynamics of Latin America's role in global politics. Let's take a step back and look at the historical relationship between Argentina and the two superpowers, the United States and China. Understanding this background is crucial to appreciate the complexity of Argentina's current foreign policy strategy. Argentina's relationship with the United States has been long-standing and multifaceted. Historically, Argentina has been one of the key players in Latin America with significant economic and political ties to the U.S. For example, during the Cold War, Argentina was part of the U.S.'s broader strategy to counter Soviet influence in the region. Economically, the U.S. has been a major investor in Argentina, particularly in sectors like agriculture, energy, and manufacturing. In more recent history, Argentina's ties with the U.S. were exemplified by cooperation during the 1990s under President Carlos Menem, who embraced neoliberal economic reforms and strengthened ties with Washington. These reforms led to increased foreign investment and support from institutions like the International Monetary Fund IMF. However, this relationship has not always been smooth. Economic crises, such as the one in 2001-2002, tested these ties as Argentina defaulted on its debt, leading to tensions with international creditors, including those from the US. On the other hand, Argentina's relationship with China is a more recent development but has grown rapidly. Over the past two decades, China has emerged as a key economic partner for Argentina. This relationship began to flourish significantly in the early 2000s as China sought to secure agricultural products and natural resources to fuel its economic boom. For instance, China is a major importer of Argentine soybeans and beef, and this trade relationship has been crucial for Argentina's agricultural sector. 
Investment from China has also surged, with significant projects in infrastructure and energy. A notable example is the investment in the Belgrano Cargas Railway, which aims to enhance the transportation of agricultural goods from Argentina's interior to its ports. Additionally, Chinese companies have been involved in the development of renewable energy projects in Argentina, including one of the world's largest solar farms in Jujuy province. Now, let's bring this context to the present. President Javier Milei, who took office in December, has brought a new dynamic to Argentina's foreign policy. Despite his libertarian and pro-US rhetoric during his campaign, Milei has had to balance these ideological inclinations with pragmatic economic needs. One of the most significant recent developments is the extension of Argentina's currency swap agreement with China, valued at $5 billion. This extension, crucial for stabilizing Argentina's depleted foreign reserves, underscores the economic interdependence between the two countries. Without this extension, Argentina would have faced severe financial strain, potentially exacerbating its already critical economic situation. At the same time, Miley has made a clear pivot towards the United States. This is evident in his efforts to strengthen military and political ties with Washington, including Argentina's request to join NATO as a global partner and its purchase of F-16 fighter jets from Denmark. This pivot is part of a broader strategy to align more closely with Western democracies, reflecting Miley's ideological stance. However, balancing these relationships is no simple task. The dual approach of maintaining strong ties with both the US and China requires Argentina to navigate a complex geopolitical landscape where the interests of these superpowers often conflict. This balancing act not only impacts Argentina but also sets a precedent for other Latin American countries that might be observing and contemplating similar strategies. In summary, Argentina's current foreign policy under President Miley is a blend of historical ties, economic necessities, and strategic maneuvering. This dual approach towards the US and China reflects the intricate and often precarious position that Argentina finds itself in, as it seeks to leverage its relationships with both superpowers for its national interest. Maintaining robust economic ties with both the United States and China offers Argentina significant benefits, rooted in economic pragmatism. By leveraging the strengths of these two superpowers, Argentina ensures a more resilient and diversified economy. Let's start with trade and investment. Argentina's relationship with China has been a game-changer for its agricultural sector. China is a massive consumer of Argentine soybeans and beef, essential exports that drive Argentina's economy. In 2021, Argentina exported over $3 billion worth of soybeans to China, a vital revenue stream that supports the livelihoods of countless farmers. This trade relationship isn't just about raw exports, it's about securing a stable and significant market for Argentine goods, which provides economic stability and growth opportunities. Moreover, Chinese investments in Argentina's infrastructure have been substantial. Take the Belgrano Cargas Railway project, for instance. This railway, funded by Chinese investments, improves the efficiency of transporting agricultural products from Argentina's interior to its ports, thereby enhancing the country's export capacity. Such investments are critical for boosting Argentina's competitiveness in the global market. On the other hand, Argentina's alignment with the United States opens doors to advanced technology and innovation. The United States has a long history of investing in Argentina, particularly in sectors like technology, manufacturing, and energy. For instance, American companies have been instrumental in developing Argentina's Vaca Muerta shale oil and gas reserves, one of the largest in the world. This partnership not only brings in significant investment but also transfers cutting-edge technology and expertise to Argentina, which is crucial for the country's energy independence and economic growth. Diversification is another critical benefit of Argentina's dual approach. By engaging with both the US and China, Argentina spreads its economic risks. This strategy ensures that Argentina is not overly dependent on any single country, which is vital for economic stability. Consider the global economic uncertainties. If Argentina were solely reliant on the US, any economic downturn or policy shift in Washington could severely impact Argentina. Similarly, overdependence on China could expose Argentina to geopolitical risks and economic fluctuations tied to Beijing's policies. By maintaining strong ties with both superpowers, Argentina mitigates these risks. This diversification acts as a buffer, ensuring that Argentina has multiple avenues for trade, investment, and financial support. The recent extension of the currency swap agreement with China is a prime example of how Argentina's dual approach provides immediate financial stability. 
This $5 billion agreement helped stabilize Argentina's foreign reserves, offering liquidity and easing financial pressures amid ongoing economic challenges. Without this extension, Argentina would face severe financial strain, potentially exacerbating its inflation and debt issues. At the same time, Argentina's closer alignment with the US brings new economic opportunities. For example, Argentina's request to join NATO as a global partner and the purchase of F-16 fighter jets from Denmark reflect deeper military and strategic ties with the US. These moves not only enhance Argentina's defense capabilities but also position it favorably in international diplomacy, attracting further investments and political support from the Western world. Argentina's relationships with both the US and China give it significant leverage in international negotiations. This dual engagement allows Argentina to play one superpower against the other to secure better deals and terms. For instance, Argentina can use its strong ties with China as a bargaining chip when negotiating trade agreements or financial aid with the US, and vice versa. This strategic positioning enhances Argentina's negotiation power, enabling it to secure favorable terms that might not be possible if it were aligned with only one superpower. Lastly, positioning itself as a bridge between East and West enhances Argentina's geopolitical significance. By maintaining strong relationships with both the US and China, Argentina becomes a crucial player in global diplomacy. This role can attract international attention and support, increasing Argentina's influence on the global stage. For example, Argentina's balanced approach allows it to mediate or participate in broader geopolitical discussions, such as trade negotiations within Mercosur or international climate agreements, where both US and Chinese interests are significant. In conclusion, Argentina's dual approach towards the US and China is a strategic maneuver that offers substantial economic and geopolitical benefits. It ensures trade and investment from both superpowers, diversifies economic risks, provides financial stability, and enhances Argentina's negotiation power and geopolitical influence. This pragmatic strategy positions Argentina to leverage the strengths of both the US and China, securing its economic resilience and long-term prosperity. While the benefits of Argentina's dual approach to its relationships with the US and China are evident, we cannot ignore the significant risks and challenges this strategy entails. These challenges can be broadly categorized into political instability, economic dependence, and geopolitical risks. One of the foremost risks is the potential for internal political conflict and instability due to diverging foreign policy goals. Argentina's political landscape is already fragmented, with various factions holding different views on the country's international alignments. President Javier Milei's administration, for example, has shown a strong ideological tilt towards the United States, embracing libertarian and pro-Western values. However, maintaining strong economic ties with China, a country with a vastly different political and economic system, can lead to conflicts within the government and among political parties. For instance, factions within Argentina that are more nationalistic or left-leaning might oppose closer ties with the US, viewing it as a threat to Argentina's sovereignty and an endorsement of neoliberal policies that have historically led to economic hardships. Conversely, pro-Western factions might resist deepening ties with China due to concerns over human rights and authoritarian governance. This internal tug-of-war can lead to policy inconsistencies, weakening the government's ability to implement a coherent foreign policy. Public perception is another critical factor. The Argentine populace is not monolithic in its views, and the dual approach can provoke backlash from different segments of society. For instance, labor unions and industries that feel threatened by competition from Chinese imports might vehemently oppose closer ties with China. On the other hand, civil society groups concerned with human rights and democratic values might resist stronger relations with the US if they believe it compromises Argentina's autonomy or subjects it to external political pressures. In recent history, we've seen public protests against various economic policies perceived to be influenced by external actors. For example, the austerity measures linked to IMF loans have historically led to massive public outcry in Argentina. If the public perceives that the government's foreign policy compromises national interests or panders too much to either superpower, it could lead to significant unrest and instability. Despite efforts to diversify, Argentina's economy remains heavily dependent on Chinese trade and investment. This dependency poses substantial risks. While China's demand for Argentine agricultural products has bolstered the economy, it also makes Argentina vulnerable to economic fluctuations and policy changes in China. If China were to experience an economic slowdown or shift its trade policies, Argentina could face severe economic repercussions. Furthermore, the reliance on Chinese investment in infrastructure projects, 
while beneficial in the short term, can lead to long-term dependencies. For instance, if these investments come with strings attached, such as requirements to use Chinese technology or companies, it could limit Argentina's economic sovereignty and flexibility. The renewal of the $5 billion currency swap with China provides much-needed short-term financial relief. However, this financial arrangement is not without risks. While it stabilizes Argentina's foreign reserves temporarily, it also increases the country's long-term financial obligations to China. This dependency can become a significant burden if Argentina's economic situation does not improve, leading to a cycle of borrowing and repayment that is difficult to break. Additionally, the terms of such financial agreements often lack transparency, raising concerns about the long-term impact on Argentina's fiscal health and economic autonomy. The risk of falling into a debt trap, where Argentina might have to cede control over key economic assets to China in case of default, is a serious concern that cannot be overlooked. Navigating the growing rivalry between the US and China is perhaps the most significant geopolitical risk Argentina faces. As the US and China increasingly view each other as strategic competitors, countries that try to maintain strong ties with both can find themselves in precarious positions. This balancing act forces Argentina to make difficult choices that can alienate one of its key partners. For instance, aligning too closely with the US on security and defense issues could provoke a negative response from China, potentially leading to economic retaliation. Conversely, if Argentina deepens its economic ties with China at the expense of its relationship with the US, it could face diplomatic and economic pressures from Washington. The recent geopolitical tensions surrounding technology and trade wars between the US and China illustrate the high stakes involved. If Argentina is perceived as favoring one side over the other, it risks being caught in the crossfire of these global disputes. This precarious position can lead to a loss of strategic autonomy, where Argentina's foreign policy decisions are heavily influenced by external pressures rather than national interests. In conclusion, while Argentina's dual approach towards the US and China offers significant economic benefits, it also comes with substantial risks and challenges. Political instability, economic dependence, and geopolitical tensions are real and pressing issues that Argentina must navigate carefully. The success of this strategy hinges on Argentina's ability to balance these competing interests and maintain its sovereignty and stability in an increasingly polarized world. Let's begin with a successful instance of Argentina leveraging its dual approach to achieve significant economic and diplomatic gains. One of the most prominent examples is the development and financing of the Cauchery Solar Park in Jujuy Province. This project, one of the largest solar farms in the world, was made possible through the combination of Chinese investment and Argentine strategic planning. China's Export-Import Bank provided the bulk of the financing, around $331.5 million, for this $390 million project. The Chinese company, Shanghai Electric Power Construction, played a pivotal role in constructing the solar park, which now generates 300 megawatts of electricity. This investment not only positions Argentina as a leader in renewable energy within Latin America but also helps the country reduce its carbon footprint and meet its energy needs more sustainably. Moreover, this project created jobs and boosted the local economy in Jujuy, demonstrating how Argentina can effectively harness Chinese investment for national development. Simultaneously, Argentina's ability to secure such a significant project underscores the benefits of maintaining strong economic ties with China. At the same time, by promoting renewable energy, Argentina aligns with global environmental goals and positions itself favorably with Western nations that prioritize sustainability and climate change mitigation. However, not all instances of Argentina's dual approach have yielded positive results. A notable example of increased tension and economic difficulties is the situation surrounding Argentina's attempt to balance its ties with the US and China in the context of technology and defense. In recent years, Argentina has faced significant pressure from the US to limit its engagement with Chinese technology companies, particularly Huawei. The US government has repeatedly warned Argentina and other Latin American countries about the security risks associated with Huawei's 5G technology, suggesting it could be used for espionage. As a result, Argentina has found itself in a difficult position. On one hand, it risks losing critical Chinese investment and technological advancement if it sides with the US. On the other hand, ignoring U.S. warnings could strain diplomatic relations and lead to potential economic repercussions from Washington. This dilemma became particularly evident when Argentina attempted to negotiate the terms of its currency swap with China while simultaneously seeking to strengthen military ties with the U.S., including the purchase of F-16 fighter jets from Denmark. 
The mixed signal sent by these parallel negotiations led to confusion and mistrust. China, perceiving Argentina's closer military alignment with the U.S. as a threat, hesitated in extending favorable terms for the currency swap, fearing that Argentina might be shifting its strategic loyalties. This scenario highlights the precarious nature of trying to balance relations with two superpowers with competing interests. The economic instability that followed, including heightened inflation and currency devaluation, underscored the risks associated with such a dual approach. Argentina's struggle to maintain a coherent and consistent policy while appeasing both sides has, at times, exacerbated its economic challenges rather than alleviating them. In conclusion, Argentina's dual approach towards the US and China has yielded both notable successes and significant challenges. The development of the Cauchery Solar Park illustrates how strategic leveraging of Chinese investment can lead to substantial economic and environmental benefits. However, the tensions surrounding technology and defense cooperation reveal the complexities and risks inherent in balancing relationships with two competing superpowers. These case studies underscore the importance of careful and strategic navigation in Argentina's foreign policy to maximize benefits while minimizing risks. To understand the implications of Argentina's dual approach towards the US and China, let's turn to the insights from experts in international relations, economists, and political analysts. Dr. Jorge Heine, a former Chilean ambassador and a professor of international relations at Boston University, offers a nuanced view. He argues, Argentina's strategy to balance its relationships with both the US and China reflects a pragmatic approach to international diplomacy. By engaging with both superpowers, Argentina secures vital economic support while maintaining its sovereignty. However, this tightrope walk requires skillful diplomacy to avoid alienating either partner. Dr. Alicia Barcena, former executive secretary of the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean ECLAC, highlights the economic benefits. She states, the dual approach enables Argentina to diversify its economic partners, which is crucial for mitigating risks associated with over-reliance on a single country. The currency swap with China provides immediate financial stability, essential for an economy grappling with inflation. Simultaneously, stronger ties with the U.S. open avenues for technology transfer and investment in high-tech sectors. Political analyst Patricio Navia from New York University points out potential pitfalls. He says, while there are clear economic advantages, the political landscape within Argentina is fragmented. The diverging interests between pro-US and pro-China factions can lead to internal instability. Furthermore, the geopolitical rivalry between the US and China puts Argentina in a precarious position, where missteps could have severe diplomatic and economic repercussions. The expert opinions reveal a spectrum of perspectives on Argentina's dual approach. Supporters argue that this strategy allows Argentina to harness the economic strengths of both superpowers, ensuring diversified trade and investment opportunities. The currency swap with China is seen as a lifeline for financial stability, while ties with the US bring in advanced technology and defense capabilities. Critics, however, warn of the inherent risks. The internal political conflict arising from conflicting foreign policy goals can lead to instability. Moreover, navigating the US-China rivalry is fraught with dangers. A misaligned move could trigger economic sanctions or a withdrawal of support from either side, exacerbating Argentina's economic challenges. In summary, Argentina's dual approach towards the US and China is a complex and multifaceted strategy with both significant benefits and substantial risks. On one hand, this approach provides economic diversification, immediate financial stability through the currency swap with China, and new opportunities for growth and development through closer ties with the US. On the other hand, it poses risks of political instability due to conflicting interests, economic dependence on China, and the challenges of navigating the geopolitical rivalry between the US and China. While Argentina's dual approach offers considerable economic and strategic advantages, it requires careful management to avoid the pitfalls associated with such a delicate balancing act. The success of this strategy hinges on Argentina's ability to maintain coherence in its foreign policy and to adeptly maneuver through the geopolitical tensions that come with engaging two competing superpowers. What do you think about Argentina's strategy? Do the benefits outweigh the risks, or is the country walking a dangerous line? Thank you for watching.